Hi, I'm Dave Darlington, an engineer in New York City, and this is a Waves tutorial on the Artist Signature Series. Today we're talking about the Manny American Bundle, six powerful and flexible plugins to help you shape your mix the way a sophisticated professional engineer would do it. On the screen right now, we see the Distortion plugin. Actually, very simple to use, not so many controls. In the middle, you see the drive control, which is the main control of how much distortion you're adding. And it goes all the way from a warm kind of soft fuzz to shred when it's up in the middle to all the way right as overdrive, over the top, complete distortion. The plugin actually functions as a mixer between the direct signal and the distortion signal. That's what these two levels are, the amount of distortion and the amount of direct, and the output of the plugin is the sum of those two. After the drive, you have a, an EQ section for three EQ points and a low pass filter. You can roll off some of those. If it gets too much on the top end, you can roll off some highs and you can sculpt your lows, mids, and highs with a sweepable frequency in the middle. One thing this distortion plugin has that most distortion plugins don't have is an attack and release control. So if you want to let some transients come through, you can raise the attack, let the sound come through a little bit before the distortion attacks. For example, a plucked guitar, you might want to ha have that attack and then distort. And if you want to have the, re the decay of the distortion last as long as possible, you can increase the release or decrease the release to get the distortion out of the way. I have a good musical example here called Days of Change, written by my friend Yoni Leviathan. And it's a very thick arrangement. I'm going to play the chorus so you can hear the instrumentation. And then I'll show you some tracks where I might think about using some distortion to feature a track or make it sit exactly right in the mix. Here's the chorus. So you see at the chorus level, it's very thick. We have live drums and bass, a bunch of keyboards, a bunch of power guitars, a stack of backgrounds, and a lead. So we need to use our effects and our plugins to kind of shape things so things can be heard, but they sit properly in, in where they are. And uh, one, of the, one of the best things to use distortion on, and engineers will tell you, in a live drum kit is the room mics. You can actually make them more aggressive and more powerful and sculpt the frequency of them with distortion so they help the drums pop forward. I'll play the room mic signal for you without any distortion. Kind of a dark covered room, not the, not the greatest room sound in history. Now we'll put some distortion on it and I'll exaggerate it. And we have tone controls. So we can shape the color of the room sound to fit in the kit. Here's the whole kit. I'll push the room up so you can hear it. And then without it, kind of dry and dead. So that distorted room helps us get our mid cut and our punch and helps the snare drum sustain a little bit. And sit just right in the mix. Another thing I might use it on is something that's a warm keyboard like a Wurlitzer or a Rhodes that with all these power guitars going on it might not might not get through and and fit with everybody else it might just be muffled and covered. In this particular example we have a um, a filtered synth sound. Pretty dark sound and the synth itself has a little bit of a sawtooth buzz to it, so we can use the distortion to actually accentuate that. I would just use a little. Almost like I'm running it through a guitar amp to just get a little meat down there in that lower mid. Without. With. You hear how that low mid pushes forward. Let's hear that in the music. 
And it also helps it fit more in the style of the music because we have the amplifiers on the guitars. Now we have a little bit of a crunch and overdrive on our um, keyboards. If you want to use it as a special effect, I made an example here on the vocals. I, I duplicated the vocal track. See, that's an exact duplication. And I muted everything except this bridge section and distorted that. Let's hear what that sounds like. There's heaven above you Somebody waiting for your soul Kind of a well-known alternative rock vibe. But uh, I'm only going to use it in the bridge. I'm going to make that useful in separating the bridge from the rest of the track as like a scenery change. So let me play it from the end of the chorus into the bridge and you'll hear the color of the vocal change because I'm adding a little bit of this distortion in, in parallel to the main vocal. Just a little bit. So like Manny says in the manual, he loves distortion whether it's a little or a lot, but I find if you just use it judiciously in certain tracks, it gives it a sense of character and color that really helps your mix come alive. So that's the distortion module from the Manny American Artist Signature Series.